Good day! In today's video, I will show you how we're gonna do hydrolysis. In order to do this, what we will need? Well, we will need uh, a recipient, okay? So you can buy one at the size for the object, okay? That's the good thing with hydrolysis. Huh? Uh, for very large piece, you can even use a portable swimming pool. Doesn't matter, okay? So me, I went to the Chinese. I bought this for nine euro, okay? And I will uh, remove the rust on this part, so I'll be able to fit it inside, okay? So you will need as well uh, a piece of metal. Huh? So I've used an old knife. Huh? Best if it's in inox. If it's a normal piece of metal, it will rust. Okay. Uh, so if you want to reuse it over and over, uh, take something in inox. And we will need a charger. So here I've got a, a, a battery charger, which is perfect. So now I will show you how we're gonna mix everything and how we're gonna prepare everything. I've now removed what I wanted to find, what did you want to go in the solution. Uh, I've left those silent block because they're actually quite uh, rusted and difficult to remove. So I thought, never mind, I will leave it on it. The only problem is that this uh, uh, metal part doesn't connect to this one. So what I've done, I've removed the plastic on an electric cable and I will connect the two together. Okay so that way there'll be conductivity now we see the part reach about here in the bucket so we need to fill all this huh? uh, what we will fill it with we'll fit with water vinegar can be red white huh? doesn't matter and salt we'll mix it well and then we'll place our stuff inside huh? All right, now how we're gonna connect those cables well it's very easy we want less rust, rust on the part, so it'll be minus, huh? minus for less, okay? And the positive will be connected for me on the knife or on your part, whatever that could be. Once it's inside, try to keep them as close as possible, but without touching, obviously. Huh? Um, and then we'll connect and that we should be good to go. So now we mix well. So please note that obviously I use uh, that mixture, but some other people use a different mixture. Some people use water and bicarbonate of soda, and others use water and soda caustica. Okay. So anyway, you use what you need. Okay. Uh, just make sure it's done in a ventilated area because obviously will come out of this hydrogen which is highly explosive and here we go so once the mixture is ready we put the, the, the part in as you can see it's now uh, in the water okay uh, as you can see I've placed the knife quite close to the part eh? and as I've told you the uh, the metal part that's there it's connected to the positive and the part to remove the rust is actually connected on the negative so because the I didn't want to put the uh, these inside the water uh, I've made an extension eh, with a cable which I've connected here okay so all I need to do now is to connect this on the uh, to, to connect it to the power and normally we should see some bubbles coming off I will now connect it and let's see what happened so as we can see there's a 
there's a lot of bubbles okay a lot of reaction so I know most of you will ask oh but how long do we leave it 10 minutes uh, half hour one hour two hours well it depends really huh? it depends if it's um, if it's a product that that has very light rust obviously that should go pretty fast okay uh, but this one uh, the, this part for instance is very oxidated uh, so obviously I will leave it a few hours uh, I would say three four hours easily okay uh, then after anyway uh, uh, I will take it out I will check it uh, if I see it's fine then I will give it a, a light brush uh, just to remove uh, the, 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 the leftover uh, and then I will see the state of it. If need be, I'll put it back uh, and then after will be time to treat it. This is the reaction we've got after half an hour and I know some people will tell me but you don't use gloves, uh, what about safety? Well, let's face it, um, water is not dangerous, salt neither and vinegar neither. So that's why I don't use gloves okay uh, but anyway the only precaution you need to take is obviously uh, when you need to recover the part uh, cut the power obviously eh? uh, and just make sure if you need to put it back that the two parts don't touch eh? if not obviously you'll have a, a short circuit we are now two hours and look at the state of the water amazing isn't it So I think what I will do, because I actually can't even see the part because of all the all the dirt, I think I will stop it for the time being and uh, I will look at the state of the parts and eventually uh, put it back again. This is the part uh, now uh, that I've cleaned a bit. Uh, I'm very very impressed so far. Uh, it remove all the all the rust uh, here. It's just perfect. Uh, it's amazing. Here I've just got a little bit left. Here as well, a bit inside. Uh, so obviously I will place it a bit more inside. Yeah. Here as well, I've got a little bit more. I'm not sure if you can see it with with the light, uh, but it's uh, it's a really amazing job. Um, so after I'll put that back. Uh, uh, I will then after that remove the cylinder block uh, that that has even even cleaned the cylinder block it's amazing <laughs> um, so then I uh, uh, will obviously remove all that clean it nicely uh, after that and place some primer or you know to to protect it so uh, anyway very pleased for the time being uh, now time to put it back in its place I would like to see the residue that actually at the bottom of the crate it's rather amazing isn't it it's a very active, effective way to remove the rust okay so now I'm on the second second go you know it's clean nicely as we can see and I'm gonna take it out now I've got now my part uh, completely free of rust I'm very very pleased uh, uh, I've now dismantled it and uh, it's now ready for painting so I hope that we, you will be able to see the results and uh, before there was a, a crust of rust on it and now let's see if it focalizes. okay so you can see uh, I'm very 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 pleased huh? uh, so that's that's the way it looked now so now when you got your part like that, what you do, you take a bit of sanding paper, you will sand the part everywhere, and then you will place some uh, dissolvent to clean it nicely. At that stage, obviously, wear some gloves because you don't want any um, marks, uh, finger marks on, on your on your part, huh? because when later you will paint, it will show, okay? Uh, and then to protect it, you place uh, a, a, an anti-rust paint, and that's it. You'll be good to go. Yeah, your part will be okay for another many many years. So now that you know how to do hydrolysis, uh, have a go at it. You'll see it's a lot of fun. And until the next video, take care of yourself. See ya.